So um, the outcomes of CLA patients have radically changed in the last few years, uh, mainly those of patients with high-risk genetics, uh, deletion 17P, TP53 uh, mutation, IG3 unmutated, uh, and this is mainly due to the approval of uh, small targeted uh, action molecules, such as BTK inhibitors and BCL2 inhibitors. Uh, so the first uh, BTK inhibitor to be approved was um, ibrutinib, which demonstrated uh, improved survival compared to chemoimmunotherapy in three randomized controlled trials um, in the frontline setting. Um, the second generation uh, inhibitor, acalabrutinib, um, also demonstrated superiority in the, for both in the frontline and uh, relapse refractory setting with the Elevate TN and the uh, Elevate RR studies, respectively. And now we have a second, um, another one of the second generation BTK inhibitor, which is also a covalent BTK inhibitor, uh, that is uh, zanabrutinib, which has been approved both for the, for in the frontline and relapse refractory settings for CLL. So the approval was based on the results of the um, Sequoia trial, which compared uh, uh, zanabrutinib with chemoimmunotherapy in the frontline setting, uh, and on the Alpine study, which compared um, uh, uh, ibrutinib with uh, zanabrutinib in the relapse refractory setting. So uh, the results of zanabrutinib are really encouraging with improved PFS compared even with um, ibrutinib, which, is, which makes uh, zanabrutinib the first inhibitor to improve efficacy compared to, to first generation uh, BTK inhibitors. Uh, and also improve safety with reduced cardiovascular uh, events, especially atrial fibrillation, which is a relevant, um, a relevant finding. So uh, the long-term follow-up, the, the larger, longer-term term, follow-up of the Sequoia study has been presented in this Congress uh, with a medium follow-up of now uh, 3.6 years uh, with uh, improved uh, efficacy compared with chemoimmunotherapy and a manageable safety profile. So obviously it's a, it's a step forward in the, in the CLL treatment or momentarium, uh, but we'll still need to see head-to-head uh, -head comparisons between acalabrutinib and zanabrutinib to try to decide which uh, is the best treatment for our patients.